backed up. Go cool. on, just one. Found a couple things so far. This Luxor hat, this is nice. London Fog. This bag's in really good condition. And some kind of hats that look nice. I'm gonna try them. Maybe we'll put these in the hot hat auction. Giorgio Brutini. And then this one. Maybe not because it has some wear on the top. I didn't notice. But so far, a few things. Darkers. Sometimes rackets can be good. I don't know enough about them. See, uh, shoes are kind of gnarly. Nada, nada, nada. I got a bit today. I'm going to go outside and show you everything I found, what I paid roughly, and what I think I'll make. It was a bit hectic today. I was talking as I was moving this cart out towards the van, and it was super loud, so I decided to re-record this. There's some pr surprises in here, some really good stuff that I was surprised to find. A couple things I'm not entirely sure if I should have bought, and the cool thing about the bins is you can take chances everything is so inexpensive i spent 25 dollars total i got two bags and i also got a bunch of dvds and vhs's a lot of this will be going in my auction some of it will be going on ebay i'm going to go over what it is what i think i can get for it i could not resist this this is an nfl films vintage story of the 1985 chicago bear uh, cassette i'm not sure if these vhs's are going to go in my whatnot or if they're going to go on ebay this cost me like 50 cents or a dollar i'm not sure i hope it was 50 cents a dollar is a little much this would go for about five or six dollars on ebay plus shipping um, on the auction it'll go for more than what i pay so i might just put it through the auction once again three chicago bulls vintage era give me five that was their fifth title i think in what is that 97 or something this is 95 96 they won my Utah Jazz, which sucked. And then they also won my Utah Jazz in 96, 97. That's cool. I'm going to sell that as a lot on eBay, probably. I might put that through whatnot. Here's another good one. I checked. Always check these thoroughly, guys, to make sure they have all the CDs in them. This used to be one of my favorite bread and butter finds um, over the last 11 years that I've been reselling. Um, it's gone down in price, unfortunately, over the years because CDs, books on CDs, are not as great as they used to be. But this should give me anywhere from like $8 to $12 plus shipping. It cost me a buck. Sealed Media can do really well, guys. Sons of Anarchy on Blu-ray. For the prices I'm paying, which is like a dollar for sealed, this should be like 5 or $6. This will go fast. I sold a Sons of Anarchy sealed DVD set that I just got a couple days ago here at the bins for like 5 or $6. I got two sealed Ghost, Whister, Ghost Whisperer seasons. <laughs> Slippery hands here. I'm going to put these in a lot. If you get more than one of any kind of TV show or TV series, lot them up. They'll sell much quicker. It'll differentiate everything, uh, which is what you want to do. You want to stand out. I probably should be able to get about eight to maybe like $12 plus shipping on these two. Cost me two bucks. I would honestly be getting a lot more media like this, books, CDs, and everything if they were paid by the pound. But unfortunately, these are charged individually at the bins. So um, I always pick up sports stuff. This is kind of harder to find oftentimes. Chicago, um, NHL, this is sealed right here. These should both be like five or six bucks, maybe a little bit more, plus shipping. Found some comic books. Can't complain about that. I love comic books. This isn't a big one. This was 50 cents. This is 1990s, a Captain America. That'll probably go in my pop culture auction. It'll get me like two to five dollars. Now, this is the one that I really loved. Back here is a 1975 giant size Fantastic Four. They were uh, fighting a Nihilus, I think, in this one. 68 big pages. This is probably about 10 bucks or so plus shipping. And I also got this one on the back side, Fantastic Fours. That's probably another four or five bucks. I'll probably put all this through the auction. It'll just be quicker, but I might put this one on eBay for the $10. We'll see. I love getting comic books. I don't find them all the time, especially at the bins. It's a sealed CD set. It kind of looks like it's cassettes. A lot of the old cassettes came in containers like this, but it's actually CD, Greatest Detectives, for a dollar sealed. I mean, I can't imagine this not being at least five, but it's probably gonna be like 10, $12 plus shipping. This, I was super excited to see. This is the complete series of Bullwinkle for a dollar. I looked it over, because you wanna always look these over, and it's missing disc two, so only one disc. These go for about 30 to $50 used with all the discs. Missing one disc, I'd probably take 10 or $15 off, so I think I can get like 20 on up, maybe $30, but I'm, I'm thinking I can get about $20 for this plus shipping. 
So I've been selling on eBay for 11 years, almost 12 years now. London Fog is a brand I know a little bit about. Um, I've never seen a bag like a duffel like this. Um, part of why I got it is it's like in new condition. It may never have been used. I can't find any stainage on it. Um, the prices are all over the place, as low as $10 on up. I think in this condition, $15 would be the low, but I might be able to get $20, $25, maybe even a little bit more for this, but it's in great condition, honestly. It doesn't sell for much more than that. This would be useful just for me. Great, great condition. I'm gonna go through the bags now. This, this is awesome. I actually saw this come out in a bin. I kind of scoped it out and I was the first one over there. Um, this is a Derek Carr Nike jersey, unfortunately with some stains. So what me and Dawn have been doing, Dawn mostly, she's not here today. She's in St. George with her dad. Um, she's been cleaning this stuff, sometimes with a toothbrush if necessary to get the detail and make sure that it's as clean as possible. If we can get that stain out, this might go on eBay. This is probably $40 on up. If it has a little bit of a stain, or if we decide, we might even put this on our Thursday auction. We've been doing hats and jerseys and sports memorabilia and other kind of vintage clothes on whatnot on Thursday. There's gonna be a link down below here, guys. If you haven't joined us, joined us before, it'd be a lot of fun. We've had a good time, but this is awesome. This was gonna be my find of the day, 100% if it weren't for that stain. But if we can get this stain out, even without the stain, it's worth picking up for under, you know, under a pound. This is probably 75 cents, 80 cents is what it cost me. I've been picking up all these running shorts, Nike, um, that I find. This is Adidas. I'm just, I decided I'm gonna pick this one up. I'm not sure how these will do. They're super light, so there's no risk. That's what I love. When they're light and there's no risk, I'm gonna take a chance on them. I can't imagine these not getting me five bucks, but these will probably get me 10 or more and they cost me, I'd imagine, 15, 20 cents total. And this, look out for these guys. I buy these all the time. I got a goofy one last week. These are Disney Park um, hats that they wear that you can buy and basically wear around the park or wear wherever you want. People always go to Disney and then they don't know what to do with these. So you'll see these in Goodwills or thrift stores or garage sales all the time. But people who want to wear these when they go to the park and don't want to pay the astronomical prices at the park, they're going to look on eBay and find a deal. This um, just recently sold in this condition used, which I don't even know if this is even used. This still has a tag, but we'll say it's in like new condition. One sold recently for $20 plus shipping. This cost me about a buck. Um, so right there, that paid for almost all or let's just say half of what I bought today, just in this Mickey hat. Let me know what you think of these deep dives with the prices, if you enjoyed this aspect of a Ben's video, me going over what stuff costs and also what I think I can make on it. I this is it. not anything special. This is not vintage. This is Nickelodeon, you know, screen print tag. So it's um, something you can find fairly often nowadays, but Rugrats, super popular. This is probably something I'm gonna put through our pop culture auction that we do with the plushes and the toys. People like this, somebody might need this one in this size. So we'll pick it up. Once again, doesn't cost us anything. So we're gonna get it. We got some hats for our hat auction. We have our hat auction every, it's been every Thursday lately. Sometimes it might be Wednesday. Uh, these need a little cleaning. This one just needs a little bit of cleaning. Malta is magic. This is vintage, I'd say 1990s. I was not finding shoes today. It wasn't really a shoe day, but I found this pair of Adidas. I think these are like, I don't know what they're called. Something bounce or boost. Look how much they were new. This is what happens when you kind of overprice this stuff in the store. $12.99, then it shows up here at the bins. And I paid, I mean, these are over a pound, so I probably paid about $1.80, $1.90 for this pair of shoes. Clean them up a little bit, should be, I don't even know, I didn't look them up, $15 to $30 plus shipping. Good filler stuff for the store. A couple more items. We got this LA Dodgers hat right here. It's fitted, it's nothing crazy. Um, it's, you know, a decent size. We'll put this in the auction and we should do decent on it. And we've got this Pikachu. This is the electronic one that dances. We have to test it, but it's in like beautiful condition, no stainage or anything on it. So we're gonna put this through probably our pop culture auction. Um, I don't think it's gonna go on eBay. Here's something that slipped out of the bag that I missed. This had a little bit of stainage on it or I would have been very excited about it. This is Vineyard Vines, a Vineyard Vines t-shirt that just has a little stainage there. I'm not sure if we can get that out. It's worth the risk. Um, this was originally not that much at the thrift store, but we're gonna try it. Vineyard Vine is a pretty decent brand. Here's some of the hats that you saw earlier. This just looked nice. I don't know much about it, but we're gonna try it out. This, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's Five Nights at Freddy. It's a mask. We're past Halloween, so that's not ideal, but I'm gonna pick this up. It'll go in one of our pop culture auctions. Got a bunch of hats. Not as many as usual, but we got a bunch. Here's a new era. 
LA Clippers. Just needs a little cleaning, a little detailing before our whatnot auction, um, but we're gonna pick that up all day. Let's see what other hats we got. Sometimes you kind of forget what you get. You get so much stuff. Here's another hat, Zion National Park. That's where uh, Dawn is today. She's up in St. George near Zion um, with her dad. Um, Zion stuff, National Park stuff, just like kind of like vacation spots that are beautiful like this. Well, here's another pair of running pants. These ones are Nike, if I can show you the swoosh here. These are in great condition, Nike running pants. I imagine these will be about $15 plus shipping, way nothing, way absolutely nothing. I mean, I'd be surprised if these cost me 15 cents at the bins. That's a big reason why you wanna go to the bins, just everything is so inexpensive. Here's a plush. I think this is Times Square. So this is a, I don't know if it's vintage, but it's Times Square, um, Hershey's plush Statue of Liberty. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but you know, we can clean that, no problem. Here is Manny from Ice Age. Ice Age new with the tag. This is clean, it's got the tag. I mean, weighs nothing, probably cost me 40 cents. I'm gonna pick these up all day at the bins. We've got another hat here. This is just vintage, I believe. Vintage Pine Top Country Club. Doesn't even really need that much cleaning, I don't believe, but we'll uh, go over it if it needs any cleaning. The bins are quickly, if not already, one of my favorite places to source. I love garage sales and I love coming to the bins. You can just get so much here for such low prices. You could take chances, you could educate yourself on stuff. You could try a brand that you wanna see if it's you know something that sells well on eBay and it's not gonna cost you that much. And worst case scenario, you sell it and you give it away and you still make a profit because you didn't spend much money on the item because you paid bin prices. So if you are looking for an interesting and fun place to go source and you have a bins near you, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. If you get here early and you're here for several hours, you could just fill carts after carts after carts of stuff.